talking about sweet potatoes. This morning, uh, we're talking to Rose Mondoheni. She's from Farm Radio International. She's going to be telling us about a new initiative on a new form of sweet potato that we have growing on our shores and whether this can be used for, well, domestic use and export. Good morning to you. Good morning. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good. Thank you for joining us this morning. Um, now, there's a little, you know, adjective we have here, OFSP. Now, I already know what it is because I found out, but let's let the general public know what OFSP is. Okay. So, OFSP is actually orange fleshed sweet potato. Okay. It's um, just another variety of sweet potato, but orange in color. Mm -hmm. um, there are several varieties of sweet potato. Um, usually, what we find on our markets are the white and then the yellow flesh but there's also the orange and the purple flesh. Not so popular in Ghana, but popular in East Africa and in Europe as well. Okay. And, and is this a new discovery or it's, it's been growing um, for a while? Frankly, it's not a new discovery. It's been in existence for the past 25 years, but most people, because they don't know its benefits, especially when you go to Boko, it's grown, it's widely grown there, but usually exported into um, Burkina Faso. And so people grow, like farmers grow, but they never get to eat it. Okay. Um, so, so would you say it's something that's catching on now? I mean, obviously you being here, uh, it's a whole initiative to try and get some exposure. Um, so is it, is it catching on? Yeah, it, it's actually catching on. This project started in 2013. Um, it started in the central um, and then upper east region where sweet potato is widely grown and known. So the first phase of the project actually... Um, centered in these two regions. Then we moved into the Volta and then the um, northern region. We are also supported by the International Potato Center. Um, they're basically into breeding and getting new varieties of sweet potato. I am sure the question of GMO is going to come up. Maybe. But we'll <laughs> talk about that in a little bit. Um, however, I mean, when it comes to sweet potatoes, I know when it comes to carbohydrates in general, uh, when it comes to healthy eating and advice, we tend to push away from carbohydrates. But in regards to sweet potatoes, there are a lot of nutritional values, aren't there? Exactly. Tell us. Um, those a variety of sweet potato contains um, beta carotene. Um, beta carotene is found in carrots. That's why carrot has the orange, orange color. Yeah. So this one can also be used in place of um, um, in place of carrot. So um, in the central region, they call it a pomodin santum, okay. um, which literally means health. Right. So the variety on the market is called a pomodin, released by Crop Research Institute. Okay. So it's been something that we've been promoting and it's been catching on. Vitamin A deficiency, we find we um, when you take the statistics, you realize that it's very um, high amongst children from six, uh, six months to five years. Mm -hmm. That's how come the government comes in with the vitamin A supplement. Okay. But this is just a food-based approach to help um, reduce vitamin A deficiency. Okay. Now, um, when it comes to food security in Ghana, there's been several issues when it comes to uh, public concern that government is not quite doing enough to ensure that you know there, are, there is food security. Um, how's it going in regards to this particular initiative? Yeah, with this initiative, like I said, we're looking at the um, sweet potato growing areas. So if, um, because most people don't see the relevance or don't see the importance of this variety of sweet potato, what we've been promoting is basically for home consumption and also to help in um, people, uh, smallholder farmers becoming food, food sustained or right. like uh, making sure that they have a bit of food when um, their maize fail, their crops fail. This variety of sweet potato just take 2.5 months. Within three months, it's matured. You can store it over a period of three months. Um, you don't need any special way of storage. Okay. Uh, all you have to do is just dig a ground and put some ash and just is, is drop it seasonal them in. or something that can actually be grown all year round? It can be grown all year round. Okay. It can be grown all year round. It's a creeping plant. So all you need is a little bit of water. Maybe if you happen to be in in a drought prone area, you just have to water it. The leaves are eating. The, like the way we eat our contome and okay. our cassava leaves, you can use the leaf for stews and soups. And you can do so many variety of dishes from the roots as well. Okay. All right. So um, tell us more about the exhibition that's coming up then. Okay. So there's an exhibition coming on at the International Press Conference. Um, 
in collaboration with the Editors Forum. So on this day, all we are saying is just come sample food made from OFSB or made from um, orange flesh sweet potato. Um, though there's going to be a chef on standby. Um, there's going to be bread. There's going to be yogurt. There's going to be import on potter. We, in as much as we want to promote it commercially, we also want to promote it domestically. Right. So the import on potter that we used to do from our yams and our um, cocoa, cocoa yams, yep. we can do import on potter from sweet potato, sweet potato. as well. Okay. We can do soups. We can do stews. Our palava sauces don't always have to be. Um, Contumbre. It, it can come from leaves. different sources, okay. so we can use the leaves as well. Oh. Um, so for every, pre it's actually free. Admission is free. It's okay. starting tomorrow at 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. And for every pregnant woman that comes, because it is good for pregnant and breastfeeding mothers. Okay. It is also good for children six months to okay. five years. Yeah. It's actually good for the general public. I'm sure a diabetic patient is wondering, can I also take because it's sweet. That person yeah. can also take that. Okay. So for every pregnant woman <clears throat> that comes, the person is entitled to a kilo of OFSP. Um, okay. I Well, I mean, free stuff for pregnant ladies. So yes, I mean, that's great. So uh, once again, where is it taking place? It's taking place at the International Press Conference. Um, okay. Um, in collaboration with the editors for all right so that so will be taking place for you're all invited thank you very much